This headline was so bizarre that I had to double, triple, quadruple check that it was actually real. Scientists are transforming dental floss into a vaccine. And it's kind of brilliant. And here's why. For years, scientists have tried to develop a needle-free vaccination alternative. The mouth and nose seem to be the most obvious target since that's where most viruses like to set up shop. But here's the thing. Your body didn't survive millions of years of evolution just to have some random molecules waltz through your mucous membranes. But then engineer Harvinder Gill stumbled upon this fascinating dental research paper. So there are these little pockets between your teeth. That's called the gingival sulcus. It turns out they are total aces at absorbing molecules. That was Gill's light bulb moment. If our gums can absorb molecules super well, then why aren't we using them to deliver vaccines? What happened next was probably something no scientist had ever done before. Are you ready for this? They flossed a mouse's teeth. How many scientists does it take to floss a mouse's teeth? Apparently two PhD level scientists. What they did was code dental floss with a fluorescent protein. And then they got straight to work on probably some very confused mice's pearly whites. The results were that 75% of the protein successfully penetrated the gums. Not bad for proof of concept involving teeny tiny rodent dental hygiene. But the real test was loading the dental floss with an inactive flu virus. The team flossed 50 mice every two weeks over 28 days. Then four weeks after the final floss session, they exposed all the mice to a live flu virus. Every single flossed mouse survived, while the unflossed control group sadly did not. But here's where the method gets really promising. The flossed mice didn't just survive, they thrived. Their immune response was comprehensive. Flu antibodies elevated T-cells, and they even found flu antibodies in the mice's bone marrow for long-term protection. Their immune systems had fully downloaded the flu data and built out this complete defense system. Now, let's be honest, none of this really matters unless it can work in humans. So 27 human volunteers flossed with a food dye-coated dental floss. On average, 60% of the dye successfully penetrated the gums. Currently, the floss vaccine method works as well as nasal vaccines like flu mist. But the goal is to reach the potency of a syringe administered vaccine. Gil and his team are continuing to refine this technology, but it's kind of wild to think that one day we might get vaccinated, not at the doctor's office, but at the dentist. If you like science we're sharing like this, then follow us everywhere at Today Learn Science at T-I-L Science.